Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how we can install AWS Code Deploy Agent on our EC2 instances using user data. So to get started, we will go on console.aws.amazon.com. We will log in with our account ID, IAM username and password. Once we filled all the details, we will click on sign in. When we are on the management console, we'll select the region we want to work in. So for me, it will be US East 2, that is Ohio. To launch an EC2 instance, we'll go on EC2. We'll click on instances to launch a new instance. I'll click on launch instance. I'll select the Amazon machine image I want to work with. For me, it will be Amazon Linux 2 AMI. The instance type. So to stay in the free tier, I'll choose t2.micro. I'll click on next. I'll give the instance details. I just want to launch one instance for now and I want to use a default VPC and subnet. We need a IAM role for this EC2 so we'll click a new create a new IAM role. Our EC2 needs a IAM role to communicate to S3 so that it can fetch bucket it, it so that it can fetch codes and artifacts file from the bucket. So I'll click on create role. The service I want to create role for. So I'll click on EC2. I'll click on next. We need S3 permissions. So I'll search for S3. So Amazon S3 read only access. I'll click the checkbox right next to it. I'll click on next. Next again. So for the role name, I want to give it a role name EC2 S3 code deploy deploy role and then I'll click on create role. Once our role is created, we'll jump back to our previous window where we were configuring the instance. We'll click on refresh icon so that we can see the role name we created in the drop down menu. I'll scroll down to the bottom where it says advanced details. From here we can give user data. We can either give user data as a text so we'll need to type out the user data we want to use or we can use it as a file. So for me I'm going to use it as a file because I have it on my local machine. I'll choose the file. Here is my file, install code deploy agent. I'll click on open and then review and launch. And then I'll click on launch. So if you have an existing key pair, you can use that or if you don't have one, you can create a new pair and save it on your local machine. I already have a key pair, so I'm going to use it the same and I'm going to click this checkbox to acknowledge that I have access to the selected private key file. I'll click on launch instances. Meanwhile my instance is launching. I'll show you the user data that I used. So this is the data that I used. This is the script that I used. One thing that I want to tell you guys uh, is if you're using the same region as me, that is US East to Ohio, you don't need to make any changes to this file. But if you're using other region than Ohio, that is US East to, you'll have to make changes to this particular line. This particular line is in the format of v w get https slash slash bucket name dot s3 dot region identifier dot amazon aws dot com slash latest slash install so you'll have to make changes according to do according to the region you're using suppose i'm using 
the region Mumbai I'll have to make changes to the bucket name and the region identifier the bucket name and the region identifier name you'll be able to get from this particular page uh, from this particular page you'll be able to get all the bucket names and region identifier names of all the regions I'll give a link to this page in the description box and I'll also give a link of the user script that I'm using in the description box so that you don't have to create on your own let's now see whether our instance yeah our instance is ready so we can see if we have successfully installed the AWS code deploy agent on this by clicking on connect and then EC2 instance connect and then I'll click on connect again to see the status of the code deploy agent you'll have to give this command sudo service code deploy agent status and then you can just paste it here then yes you can see you have successfully installed AWS code deploy agent as it says the AWS code deploy agent is running as PID 21275 that's all for the tutorial I hope you now know how to install an AWS code deploy agent using user data that's it thank you so much for watching see you till next time